tomorrow uh, it will be an important day in the AFC Champions League football and um, today we are at uh, the Alsa Stadium one of the venues for the AFC Champions League is Stone Masters uh, Armstrong what do you think what's your take on this tournament uh, some of the big names in the Asian football clubs are coming to Qatar uh, for this tournament uh, coming from Japan China uh, and Malaysian team has withdrawn but there will be 15 top clubs from uh, Asia and they are the potential candidates to win the AFC Champions League the final which will be taking place here itself in Qatar on December 18 the quarter final is on the 10th and the semi final is on the 13th another important thing eight months the East zone matches were not held eight months is a pretty long time and uh, given the fact that Qatar had successfully hosted the West Zone matches in September, another month long, almost a month long tournament that Qatar had done successfully. And it gave the AFC, uh, the AFC body, I mean the Asian Football Confederation, the body, and they had entrusted with the responsibility, given the fact that uh, the, the bubble that has been formed to accommodate the teams over here. It has been a fantastic arrangement from the Qatar's point of view and Doha has uh, has shown to the world and even when the sporting uh, activities were came to a standstill, Qatar was the first country, perhaps uh, was the first country in this region to actually move forward and you know they took up the challenge to invite the AFC to okay they can host their matches over here with the West Zone and given this track record are successfully done. The East Zone, even AFC said, okay, fine, let's uh, have those um, uh, group matches and along with the semi final, quarter finals, and finals here. So, isn't it a nice uh, kind of an arrangement given the COVID 19 uh, protocols that Qatar has followed successfully? Yeah, the medical bubble thing, uh, bio bubble, uh, will continue for the East uh, Zone matches and ho hopefully uh, there will be uh, a uh, lesson for all the sporting world to take a uh, page out of the uh, book from Qatar and follow it and implement it so that uh, the sports stars of the world who are craving for action and who are hungry for to come back to the track field or for the um, for that matter on the football field uh, will be a big relief for them Coming to the teams, 15 teams, uh, recently, two days back, Malaysia's uh, Johar club, they pulled out because the government didn't allow their uh, team to travel to Qatar because they had some complications related to the COVID-19. But with these 15, 15 teams, there will be a super fight between the Chinese clubs, Guangzhou Evergrande, uh, former champions. and. Though there will be a star cast, uh, and uh, let, let us tell you that uh, one of the finest footballers uh, in this uh, decade, Andres Iniesta, I think probably uh, everybody would be uh, recognizing him, no need to explain who is he, where he played, he is one of the finest footballers of the modern era. He has uh, joined, I mean he, was, he has joined last season with Kobe. But Kobe hasn't done really well in their domestic season. They are 11th in the in the team <clears throat> in the team uh, in the points tally. Yet the fans would have a chance to get to have a look at Andres Iniesta. And if uh, you know, possibly uh, though uh, his his former teammate uh, Xavi, Xavi is the head coach of this club, and maybe they will have a kind of a conversation. They will meet. So it is a kind of. Uh, uh, it will be an attraction for the fans, an attraction for the media, an attraction for the AFC Champions League, which will give uh, some kind of a star cast.